either. At an even 23%, they have scored 28 power play goals this year. Cornell penalty kill. Shot here and a score! The Knights get on the board first. That one gunned home from the slot. Tisdale scored the only goal last night for the Golden Knights, and he gets it started here on a Saturday evening in Lina. We talked about the execution of the Cornell power play. What an unbelievable execution on the Clarkson power play. You go down one touch from Campoli right up into Tisdale, who finds that little bumper area on the 2-3. Uh, that is great, great execution. Cornell, they have to get back and retreat back to the middle with their sticks to be able to deny those kinds of opportunities in the middle of the ice. It's been their Achilles heel this year. Cornell's Achilles heel is their penalty kill. Uh, again, five on five, very, very few goals against they give up. Penalty kill has been a difference. A helper as well. That goal at 525, a period number one, came on the Clarkson power play that followed Cornell's effort and just that one second overlap. And now the big red second crack. On the man advantage here as they look for the equalizer. Locked behind the cage, his stick being lifted every skate stride of the way by Morrow. Superior reach, but the Big Red able to regain, but the puck bounding away from Donaldson pokes it out to the blue line. Caldas for Morgan Barron, snapshot up and over the cage. Cornell going high here in the opening. Eight minutes and change on Marat. As Locke skates into the top of the circle, down low Donaldson to Locke. Looking for the one-timer, it's Green, or it's Caldas, rather. He pulls that stick back down. Caldas for Barron. Barron as well. Loading up the gun, but he hangs on to the puck. Donaldson looks to the front. Shot, score! What a setup by Cam Donaldson, and Ben Burrard pumps it home to tie the game at one. Ben Burrard back in the lineup tonight with senior Noah Ball being out for injury. And he stepped right into his old role with the top power play unit and puts it right in, right over the glove of Frankie Murat. But what a play by Brendan Locke and Cam Donaldson right there. Locke gets the puck head up right over the Donaldson, puts it right through the stick and finds a little, that's like a Nicholas Backstrom type pass right there. Right to Ben Burrard, gets right over to the student section and says hello after the goal. So uh, two power play goals here to start the game. Special teams is obviously a huge part of winning hockey games and two great execution goals from two from both teams. Well, Ben Burrard snapping an 11 game goal streak here. Did not play last night. Back in the lineup and making an immediate impact. <laughs> Replays coming up in between the first <laughs> and the second period. Uh, Frank Murat has been fantastic for Clarkson here tonight. With all the chances that Cornell has had, he's really stepped up. Another play. redirect. Rebound is the score! Tristan Mullen with his team leading seven on the power play as Cornell moves in front 2 on. My apologies to Frank Murat. I think I just jinxed him. <laughs> He's been playing so solid tonight, but this was one. This is a second and a third chance opportunity coming in on the rush. As you can see, nice little pass in between the stick for a tip by Max Andreev and Tristan Mullen. And Johnny on the spot for another power play goal. Seems like he's scoring power play goals at will right now. So that second chance opportunity all from their second power play unit coming up on the rush. Great execution there by the Big Red. Ninth goal overall for Cornell's number two. They have the extra games on their schedule before they hit the postseason. McFall spins it around, and Dreyev taking the body, and the big red in pursuit, right wing corner, but it's Underwood circling it away from the oncoming Michael Regish. Underwood once more. Brousseau takes a shoulder from Zach Tupker. As McFall turns it back, Harold's Eagle. Looking to gain some speed. That puck momentarily in his skates. Knocked away at the line. And the Big Red unable to lift it past the captain, Devin Brousseau. Now Malone. Rank wide, Caldas. Feeding in, Steinberg. Tried to shovel that one to the front off the backhand as Malone was coming hard. Now Haskinen. Down low, backhand and try. Rebound, they score! Ben Barrard cleans up the garbage. And it's 3-1. 55 to go in the third. Well, this whole play is made by Cody Haskinen and the poise that he shows as a defenseman, bringing the puck to the net, and then a little bit of grit by the freshman from British Columbia in Ben Burrard. So you're going to see Cody Haskinen.
to take the puck, doesn't panic at all. Poise, 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 brings it to the front of the net. Ben Burrard right there, Johnny on the spot for the second chance opportunity. And Ben Burrard with the second goal of the game, coming back into the lineup with the injury to the senior of Noah Balden. I would think he would like to stay in the lineup here for the next game, Brady. Well, he his activity picking up here in the third period. He has stopped 23 of 24 shots in total, but things a little bit dicey at times in the Cornell defensive zone over the last several minutes. Yeah, Cornell, they got away with a few there on the penalty kill. You had the first one. You had three Cornell players a little bit overextended, and I believe it was Harold's Eagle that had the puck right in front of the net. Uh, decided to pass it, not shoot it. Uh, but So got away with one there, keeps it three to one. Now out of the corner, Tisdale to the blue line. McCarthy back for Tisdale. Cross ice, Kuzmeski now into the mix. He gets driven hard to the boards by Mullen. Shakes free, unable to get a centering pass through as this one's kept to the perimeter. Now out is Andrea trying to put together a two-on-one. Max centers, right circle. Regas the wraparound shot, they score! never ever gave up on the play. What a play by Max Andrea, and he wins the wall battle first inside his own zone to get it out. Then he makes a nice little saucer pass as you see to Michael Regas, who shows poise, 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 brings it around the net. Actually, that might have been Tristan Mullen. It was one of the two, Michael Regas or Tristan Mullen, who puts the puck in the net, and this crowd is going absolutely bananas right now. 16-01, the time of the goal that makes it a 4-1 Cornell lead. We'll wait and see. Well, I don't think there's any way we're going to pick up the announcement in the background, <laughs> perhaps. Betts going to win this draw. it pressured by a double team high over on the far side. Betts to the corner, whacked at by Morrow. 20 seconds to go in this one. As if the one-point weekend cheer wasn't enough, now the overrated cheer arising from the line of faithful. Mitchell center, shot, score! Hat trick! What a night for Ben Burrard. How about it, huh? The freshman coming back in the lineup, and there the hats go. The hats are flying now for the freshman from British Columbia. What a night for him, and just kind of fitting. This entire year, just the team aspect of this Cornell team, it's senior night, right? It's senior night, you have three seniors, it's the regular stage. season, <laughs> and a freshman comes out, and the freshman scores to make it a hat trick for him and a 5-1 lead, so what a nice pass by fellow freshman Travis Mitchell to get it over to Berard, who was sitting on the back door as well, and you have to imagine, knowing that Ben Berard was out there on the ice, they were trying to look for him to get that hat trick goal. So what a nice play by the two freshmen from Cornell, and what a nice way to end the regular season and the regular season careers off for these seniors. Well, Ben Berard with the trifecta here tonight. Two of those coming on the power play as a big red will put this one in the books as a 5-1 victory. Not over their most hated rival, but certainly one of their most heated over time, the Clarkson Golden Knights. This crowd is it's jumping. It's jumping, and for good reason. I mean, the entire regular season, zero losses for this big red team. And you talk about, you know, one of the questions I get asked, usually as a coach, having coached, what's it like being able to recruit at Cornell, you know? And it's very, very cool because you get to bring them to an atmosphere like this and just say, hey, you can play like this for four years. And, uh, you know, it's an incredible thing to be able to have. Uh, Ithaca, New York, it's a small town, but it's a big community. And it's, uh, it's a special, special place. And it's a special place for special people. And you got three special people that are going to take their lap here tonight. And it's been, what, 11, 12 years now since I took my lap around here. And Probably still seems like better. yesterday. Oh, my gosh, it does. But I feel, feel like getting choked up a little bit for those guys because those three guys, again, like I said, I was here as we were recruiting those three. Three incredible kids.
three incredible families, so much sacrifice for the family aspect for them to be able to send their kid to an Ivy League institution, and they deserve this crowd rouse that they're getting right now. Well, the Big Red with a victory, the crowd urging them on all night long. This joint was jumping from the time the puck hit the ice in period number one. And the crowd saluting the team and the team likewise to the full house of Line of Faithful here on a Saturday evening. Clarkson with the loss. They will finish in conference at 16-5, 32 points. They were locked into the number two seed regardless of what happened here tonight. They finished the regular year at 23-8-2 for the Cornell Big Red. They now have won nine consecutive games heading into the postseason. They finished their conference schedule 36 points on the strength of a 17-2-2 record. Overall, they moved to 22-2-4, and, and it continues to look like it sets up as a very special spring for both the men's and women's hockey program here in Ithaca, New York. For producer-director John Enright and my color man, Topher Scott, I'm Grady Wittenberg. We thank you for joining us tonight. Can't wait until we get you here a couple of weeks from now when Cornell hosts a second-round series. Your final score in the regular season finale, it was Cornell 5, Clarkson 1. All games airing on the ESPN networks are streaming live and archived on the ESPN app. This has been a presentation of ESPN. Take care, man. <laughs>